and welcome to the second episode of Countdown to Rio, the exciting TV show that goes behind the scenes with Singapore's Olympic sailing squad as they prepare for this summer's games. The team have taken six out of the ten available Olympic tickets, but they'll be looking to add to that at the upcoming Asian Championships. That's the final qualifying event. However, with the six boats already confirmed, Singapore Sailing Federation will already be fielding a record number of sailors in Rio. I think, yes, I agree with you, it's been a great year for us. Um, a record number of classes represented uh, by Singapore at the Olympics. Um, it bodes well for our future as well, but at the same time, we must not be complacent. Uh, the sailors need to campaign a lot earlier, I think, and really start pushing hard, uh, even for the next cycle. This achievement is even greater as out of the 13 Singapore athletes confirmed at this stage for Rio, nine of them are sailors. The sport is certainly spearheading the Singapore Olympic team and is a direct result of sailing's successful Olympic pathway program. We are trying to shift the focus to, for the younger ones to have more fun uh, because we believe that with fun, that's how they develop the passion for the sport and we believe that technical skills and abilities can be taught at a later stage of their, their development. It started developing us from a very young age, from the optimist to the youth classes and then to move forward to the Olympic pathway. So we have a very, we have a Olympic pathways for sailors to, yeah, you know, uh, discover different classes that they want to sail and for us to move on to hopefully fly out the Singapore flag at the Olympics. The Olympics may be the aim, but every young athlete has to start somewhere. The Sailing Federation is keen to get youngsters into the sport. Like, after I finish, I want to try windsurfing. Yeah, it's a totally different boat, but then, like, I think it's quite fun. And, like, many of my friends are trying it, so I'm going to try it out also after I finish. Right now, I'm thinking of uh, going after the 29er next year, I think of going on the NACRA. Um, for the 2020 Olympics. Sailing can help children develop their character, learn ethics and establish goals. Sailing acts as a moral compass to them. And, uh, sports teach them a lot of life skills and I think they are very focused, they are very motivated as a sport. You know, they know what they want. They work towards their goal, their goal setting and all. <laughs> the thing that he learned, that he do, textbook cannot learn, uh, teach him. So social skill and the rest of the values and the friendship that he has from the, all the races, textbook cannot buy. Sailing becomes an extended family to the kids with them spending so much time out on the water with their fellow competitors. Like any sport, the higher up the levels you progress, the more time you have to dedicate to that sport. When you're aiming for the Olympics, then an athlete can spend more time in a boat than they do perhaps with their own families. goes away for two months and three months and uh, sometimes I get worried that you know, you know, her safety, they, they drive around and uh, worry for her when she's sailing, competing or not competing on the road. Most of the time I miss home because of the food so we try to cook Singaporean food at home when we are not 
when we are overseas, so we don't miss home so much. Sometimes we miss, I miss my mom. Yeah, so we talk to her every day, so that we we won't lose touch or get lost with uh, things that are happening at home. I always have to support them. I when they call me when they are when they are overseas when they are not doing well, I don't talk about their race. I always cheer them up, talking about food, what uh, cook something else, you know, experience of some other food. Not about racing. Never about racing. Overcoming obstacles, bouncing back from setbacks. I think that's something I grew up with since I was young because competing for over 10 years, you're bound to face so many obstacles, so many setbacks. Just a bad race, a bad regatta can cost you a lot, but I guess it's part and parcel of growing up because ultimately you're bound to face many setbacks. For me, I'm very privileged to have a very strong family support. They're always there for me no matter what. A bad day, a bad race, anything, they're always supporting me, no pressure given. So for sure, I would like to thank my parents and my family, for sure. And friends too. They're always there, even like in school when I need help, when I'm really struggling, they're always there to help me, give me extra help, even though they have nothing to benefit them, but they're always there for me. The sacrifices that an athlete's family have to make is a huge contributor to success. Hopefully the efforts that the parents have to make are all worthwhile when they see their children represent their country. The most proud moment is when they are campaigning for Olympics now. It's my greatest uh, moment in life. Uh, I think the first uh, game when she won the gold, we are also proud of her. The whole family is so proud of her. <laughs> in Bali, I think she won the gold. And on the international platform, I think she has improved. The morals that these young sailors display are an inspiration to their peers. It's not always about winning, but it's also about the values they represent. Their dedication, commitment and persistence to sailing with the aim of competing at the Olympics make them role models for generations to come. I think they will be uh, inspiration to their fellow students, whether they are in sailing or other sports or other endeavours because it's all about excellence, doing their best, not just for themselves, but for their country, and being their best in everything they, that they do, so that this inspires excellence for all our students. Being an Olympic athlete is a way of living which requires plenty of hard work and dedication. It's these values which have been learnt from a young age and are contributing to the already successful story of Singapore Safe. I feel very, very happy and very, very blessed to have all the support from the Sailing Federation, the family and also my teammates. They have been a very, very great support through this whole journey. 